welcome to Throwback Thursday, where I play through a game that I've already reviewed, and this week I'm doing a request from Hanu the Hyundai Mackinnon, aka Hyundai Tune. Um, he's requested I play Smurf on Atari 2600, aka Rescuing Gargamel's Castle. So here we go, let's, uh, get started. The first, um... First, you know, walk through. You, you you go through like a you know x amount of screens, and it's nothing. This I mean, aside from walking into the into the water, the spider is the only enemy in this uh, first go around. It's really a tutorial slash warm up. You even hit a repeated screen here of the uh, of the water. And bam, you get the Smurfette, end of the game. But each time you pass through, a new hazard presents itself. Starting with this fucking crow. I remember it took me a little while, oh, and then each screen repeats. And then repeats. Each time the you know the crow will get faster, the snake will get faster. And you'll get an extra repeat, so you'll hit this, you know, river screen twice in a row, and then it'll be three times in a row the next time for... I don't know, know for sure how many times it maxes out on, but it's a few, and then... And the enemies are faster. Not too big on the repetition thing, but whatever. I like how the music changes in the spider uh, segment while also staying the same. It just swaps from the happy tune to the, uh... to the doom and gloom version in real time. This one, though, does not repeat. You just get to Smurfette and you're done. But I remember the first time I played this game... You know, I didn't think to jump twice. You have to... You have to press up to jump. The X button... The X button. I'm, I'm playing on a, you know, a PlayStation uh, controller here for, on the emulator. Um, the, the, the only button, the fire button, when you press it, it does absolutely nothing. You press up to jump. That's, like, really your only button is directionals and then up on the joystick. But you have to hit up on the joystick twice consecutively to get that jump. But for a while, I was just doing these half-assed jumps. You can kind of jump forward like that. And I would jump right into this fucking fence and die for a little while. Oh, see, now the crow's getting faster. Nice. Nah, so three of these be uh, crow fence uh, screens. changes direction on me over there. A little bit less predictable than the crow. Ah, oh, I see. I, I fucked up the timing of that one. This isn't, uh... It's, pr it's pretty easy, but... <clears throat> it does get a little tricky as it goes on, as it should. You know, that's a video game for you, right? Now the spider uh, is on coke. I'm not so sure, like I said, how many screens you max out at or how fast the enemies get before, you know, the whole thing just kind of reaches a boiling point. <clears throat> but, you know, it's like we've basically seen everything that there is to see. We'll just keep going until, uh, until we don't. We are unable to. Oh shit! See, I'm I'm farting around there, just bouncing around. Yeah, this guy's uh he's a lunatic now. Go 
gonna be awake now. So one thing about, aside from being overly repetitive, the other thing about having... Oh, I jumped in the water. That was always a funny little animation. And he catches up to me, too, so it's like, I gotta... Oh, no! I made it. Yeah, the change of direction is, uh... Definitely presents a challenge, uh, in that, with the snake. I thought I was gonna hit the corner of the platform there. Ah, oh, I hit the thing. I, I didn't hit it quick enough. Oh shit! I thought I thought if I held it, it would be fine. I have to press it. All right, so I'm on my last life here. Oh no! I made it! I made it! This is so weird. It's uh, it's like so surreal. This uh oh shit! I barely made it underneath that spider. So if he gets faster, I'm gonna have to like I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna have to do. Oh, I see. So the timer up top does not reset with each screen. You have... Alright, so... That's the, I don't know if I noticed that earlier or if that's just something that I'm... Uh, meaning, I don't know if I mentioned it in my review or not. He just disappeared off the screen. That was close. The snake is, has the unpredictability of a moth. With, uh, when he decides to change direction and... Oh my god, what a horrible way to end the game. Look at Smurfette, she's like, no, what an idiot! Well, that's where it ends. That's very fitting, I guess. I'm just gonna plop myself down there and bleed a while. So, that's Smurf. Or Smurfs, I think it was... Um, I've seen it with just... As just Smurf, but also as Smurfs. I don't know, whatever. Uh, excuse me. That's it for this week. Um, feel free to leave a request in the comments for a game that I've reviewed in the past for me to throw on to a throwback Thursday. And so until then, I'll see you next week.